you can see there I was showing people how on Periscope you guys got to go check that out I think it came out really good I don't know sometimes I ramble too much you guys don't know that on YouTube because I just delete everything <laughs> okay guys so it is Sunday and I did not vlog all week sorry about that so it's um, afternoon I had a few things that I needed to get done at the school so I figured I'd go ahead and just vlog with you guys today and then post that for tomorrow um, I did not get much done on Friday because we had a PTO thing so I was doing a teacher skit so as soon as the bell rang we got together with all the other teachers that were in the skit we practiced the skit then I got together with my yearbook buddy because I'm on the yearbook staff and then we got a few things done for that because um, yearbook needs to be turned in before spring break um, so I didn't get much done as far as Things that needed to be done for this week and I have a doctor's appointment so I'm only gonna be here half a day tomorrow and then I'm we have a teacher work day on Friday so um, kids I will pretty much only be in school for three and a half days this week um, but we're gonna be great it's gonna get done we're gonna do a lot of fun things I am doing weather this week which I'm super excited about so I'm gonna take you guys along this little process of um, weather. I got office supplies in. Yay! Isn't that like the best feeling in the world when you get office supplies in? You're like, it's stinking Christmas. It is the coolest thing ever to get office supplies in. So check out all my paper that I have going on here. I did not put up all this stuff. I got some nice little laminating pouches, some cardstock. Good times. So I need to pull some things for my weather unit. If you've seen my like classroom setup reveal, I can't classroom tour, that's what it's called. If you've seen my classroom tour, then you kind of have already seen this, but I know this looks really awful right now. Um, this is my themes, my unit themes, and this is where I put all of those little pieces of paper that you're gonna reprint for the next year. So I'm doing weather next week, and I'm actually pulling it into two weeks. Um, because I do kind of weather, ooh, can't pull it out. Um, I do weather for two weeks and then, well, I do weather for one week and that's more like rain, thunderstorms, tornadoes, um, some of the tools for weather. We're gonna do some really cool experiments this week. And then for the second week, I mainly focus on clouds. Um, Y'all, cause I love me some clouds. I'll get in, like that is, um, cloud unit is aka I'm gonna be spending a lot of my time outside <laughs> so I am doing that for the next two weeks and then um, right before spring break so I have three weeks before spring break I have this week the next week that's my two weeks of weather and then the week before spring break it's gonna be kind of the introduction into life cycles because we do a lot of life cycles for the month of April and I'm doing oviparous animals and I got a really fun new book, y'all, and I'm super excited about it. And I am actually going to do a close read on this. And I figured, it's not up here. I thought I put it all over there already. So I figured that um, since I am going to do a close read on it, and I have not written a close read because this is a brand new book for me, um, I have not written my close read for this book yet, I would sit down with you guys and do a close read with you. So I'm super excited about that. So the book is called Chickens Aren't the Only Ones. Oh my gosh, it's so stinking cute. A book about laying eggs. Look at that. It's just so perfect for, you know, that Easter time and just life cycles in general. So it goes through. You can kind of see the inside of the egg. It talks about different things that you can do with eggs. So, And then it talks about how chickens aren't the only ones that lay eggs. So it starts going into different um, birds lay eggs. This is the book that I'm going to be doing for my oviparous animals, um, and I'll do a close read on this. Now, I know that this book is not one that you can find in stores. Like, I had to get this one off of Amazon. Um, or if you have, like, a Second and Second and Charles, you know, where you have, where you can go and buy used books, um, you can check them out and see if they have it, but it's really good. 
So that's what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And I got a few things I need to do. I have to switch out my, my books for next week. Obviously my chairs are all up, so I'm gonna put those down. Um, I don't know what I was thinking, but I didn't have my kids take out their pink folders for tomorrow. And something else that I wanted to talk to you about was that I am also going to be doing like my daily data. And this was something kind of that I wanted to talk to you guys about too, because daily data, like just because I have that, that there, like doesn't mean that that's the set way that I do it every single time. So like tomorrow my kids are gonna come in, that's gonna be covered with paper and it's going to have um what is your favorite kind of weather that's kind of how we're going to kick it off so last week um this is the one i'm about to show you this is what we did last week because we had read across america for dr seuss and there was one day where we had come came in in the morning and this is their their daily data like attendance that they had to finish so each of the kids had to make a little green egg and ham and they had to post it up there and this is what we talked about so just because you know I have that up there doesn't mean that I use that all the time does that make sense I hope it does I mean you can do fun stuff like that and um, if that's what you want it to be like the main focus a lot of the times the ones that I do here is not my main is not my main focus for like my math lesson if that makes sense this is more of a we're sitting down like during snack or before or after recesses or before we go to lunch, depending on the time that we have. And then we complete like all these little sentence strips. So we'll do writing about it. We'll compare it. We'll make sentences about it. Um, so yes, but unless like if I really want it to be my focus, like tomorrow I'm going to want it to be one part of my focus um, for not math, but my thematic, like in the afternoon, I make it, a little more fun like the other ones. So I wanted to let you guys know about that too. Um, okay, I'm gonna start pulling a few things and I'm gonna show you guys later what it is that I pull. Okay, so I've pulled a few things and I probably could have just had you guys like talking to you guys as I'm pulling stuff. But I pulled a few things for next week and for Cloud Week too. And I'm gonna kind of walk through and show you exactly what I pull. So, um, if you have not seen my kind of a plan, my plan with me video, I showed you guys one of these in my plan with me video. Um, but this is how I keep all of my themed, um, ah, it's stuck. All of my theme for my units, all of those little papers that I have to print out. Um, so it's in just a plain binder and I use page protectors to uh, put all of my printables in. So everything that I have, I literally just stick it, bad glare, inside of it. Um, but anyways, this is what I decided to pull out. So I pulled out one of these. I kept this one um, because there was this really great article about um, weather. So I kept this in there. This would be great for my tornado facts when we're going to do a tornado facts. Um, the forecast and what it means. So I left that out there and I'm going to pull this one out because I will use this in the afternoon. Um, this week we are also, and I can't remember exactly who I got this from, but I can leave a link down below for you guys. Um, my weather rhyme. So my rainbow rhyme. Sorry. So they make torn a torn paper rainbow and they talk about their favorite color and then you can see it in the grass and in the color of a frog and then more the rest I like green the best so green was my favorite color and that's what I chose so they're gonna end up doing this one as well this week in the afternoons um, I also so I have that so I can make copies of it today and then I pulled a few poems and I had somebody ask me a question about what it is it that I do with my poems so my kids have poetry notebooks um, and this is what they look like so it's just a plain compos composition notebook. I put blue on there because um, the past few years, like whenever I talk to my kids about pulling out their poetry notebook, you know, they totally would not read what's on there. So I have to tell them the blue. So they always double check themselves about blue. So we keep all of our poems inside of here. And uh, what we'll do is maybe one day, um, the first day we 
read the poem um we'll sing it a few times so that they can get it and how i do is i break it down so the first time um i might ask them okay hey guys i have a new poem for you um and I'll say, you know, the poem that we're doing this week is weather. And before I even show it to them, I said, okay, it goes to a special tune. So I want you to think about what tune it is. And I go, and then all these little thumbs will shoot up, y'all, because they already know exactly what to do. So their little thumbs will shoot up and they'll tell me, you know, it's bingo, it's bingo. So after we talk about bingo and what tune that is, um, I tell them I'm gonna teach you the words that's gonna go into with that tune. So we'll, I'll read it, I'll sing it the first time for them, and then we will break it down. So I might say one line and then they'll have to echo read. And then they know at the very end, we're gonna choral read it two times. So that very first day, what I do is I just have them go glue it into their poetry notebooks and I tell them to tell me what they see. So I put a little, um, rectangle down at the bottom and I tell them I want you to think about what's happening in this poem so there's that visualization that's that standard that goes in here visualization for that day of being able to visualize what's happening here so they'll draw what they see inside of that poem into that rectangle um, and then let's say day two we come back and we talk about some of the high frequency words so i'll either have them bring their journal to the carpet or i have them do it during like a reading time or just as a quiet downtime and they will circle all of the high frequency words that they can read if it's color words you know they'll color it you know they'll circle it with the color of that word um but they're circling words maybe the second day the third day we will look at um, syllables or I mean you could do I mean y'all there's so much that you can do at poems you can count how many words are in the sentence it's not focusing sorry is that focused yeah so maybe that um, third day we can count how many words are in each line we'll number how many lines are in the poem we will um, look I'll tell them a word maybe weather and they have to tell me how many syllables are in weather and they'll write that number next to that that word um, or they can find rhyming words so we could do that the third day and then typically the fourth and fifth day I will introduce to them their um, a different poem so there's one here's another one that we'll do this week and then, oh y'all, I love this poem. So I had to Google this song because I had never heard of it when I first got this poem, but it's probably one of my favorite poems that I ever read with my kids. So it goes, drip, drop, drip, drop on the rooftop, hear the rainfall, plop, 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 slip, slop, slip, slop, grab the mop, mop, won't that rainstorm ever stop? It's so cute, right? Um, so we will circle chunks that we've learned. So we'll circle chunks that are in there. Um, we may underline high frequency words that are in there. But again, that first day, it's mainly of just learning the poem. Um, and I have a half sheet of it like this of this poem somewhere. So I just don't quite know where it is. So I also pulled out my clouds one. And this one is not a tune. It's just straight up you're just reading it um scattered and wispy clouds in the sky cirrus clouds are drifting by so we read them we put them up and we just do various activities now it may be that not all the time i get to all of those activities with my poems i mean it just happens there's so much that we're trying to fit in guys and that's something to think about too is that you know, you want to think about the standard that you're teaching for that week and you want to teach that so well. There are so many times that like either teachers or just, you know, parents or whoever it may be, just try to say, I got to teach my kid this. I got to teach them this. Guys, <laughs> like they're five or six in kindergarten. They don't need to know all of life's secrets <laughs> in the very beginning. You know what I mean? Like teach that one thing and teach it really well you don't have to do all of the cute activities you don't have to read all of the wonderful books because remember they're going to go to first and second and third and fourth and fifth and sixth they have so many opportunities later in life that other teachers may present those books to them so you don't want to try to jam pack their little brains with so much because they're going to have information overload i mean how do you feel whenever you go to a conference and you're just being bombarded with information at the end of it you're like 
Well, I remember that in this one session I learned about this, but I don't quite remember everything. Or you're like busy trying to look for notes. Well, our kids don't take notes. <laughs> um, some of them probably can't write notes the way that we want them to. So remember that too, is that you don't have to jam pack bombard them with all of the information that's out there in the world. Don't try to do all of the really cute crafts because I guarantee you there's going to be a first grade teacher or a second grade teacher that's going to do all those cute crafts with them. So just remember that when you're planning too. That's really, really important. But let me show you some other things. Okay, so this goes with my clouds, but this is what I was talking about and I don't know who in the world I got this from. I think this was a unit. Yes, it was a unit. And I will put that unit up there. So I'm gonna make a big huge chart in just a little bit and I'll show you what it looks like. But it's gonna have windy, sunny, snowy, cloudy, thunderstorms, rainy. And then they're gonna get to graph which one was their favorite. Which one do they like? And so then we'll come back at the end of the day and said which one has the most, which one has the least, um, and then we'll add some of these. Now this whole thing was intended for something totally different. This was intended for graphing weather on a calendar. I'm not gonna use it for that. I'm gonna use it for what I need it for. <laughs> so I'm tweaking it a little bit so that, you know, we're gonna use it for our daily data for which one do you like. Mm, that's what I came up with, it's gonna be great. Something that I did for cloudy that I really really enjoyed is once we went through and we started talking about clouds There was one day where my kids I had them partnered up and I took these cloud pictures of various clouds and they had in their little groups to talk about what kind of cloud did they think it was so it was a lot of Oh, a lot of oral language about which kind of cloud they had and they had to describe it and kind of add that support in there. So that was really fun. So yeah, I'm going to make some copies now. I feel like I'm giving you guys information overload. That's probably what you're thinking at the moment. It's like, Bridget, mm, got to chill a little bit on some of that. So I'm going to let you guys go for a little bit and then I'll be back and yeah, hopefully I'll have some more stuff done. Okay. So so I have just finished making some copies and I wanted to show you guys this and I am going to do another post that's a little bit more in detail about it, but I wanted to show it to you guys because I love it so much. By the way, I just did a Periscope um, and I had to switch around my username and so I was formally known as the lettered classroom on Periscope. Well, I set up a Catch Me, which is a website that catches all of your um, live streaming videos, so your Periscope videos and stuff, and, and it puts it onto a website and it saves it for you, which is phenomenal, right? Totally cool and crazy. So I set one up, but when I set up my Periscope, I set it up under my phone number and I didn't set it up under Twitter. So it's not catching anything, but I finally figured it out and I finally have my catch me up So I'm gonna leave a link down below for you guys on that too um, So that you can go and check that periscope out because I talked about My go-to favorite life-saving holy grail of all small group items that I use in my classroom And that is these bad boys. So I just finished setting these up right now um, So that they're ready to go for next week. I have green food coloring from making green eggs at home I really need to take that home, but I'm really scared to put that into my bag right so I'm not doing it um, anyway so I just did a periscope on this totally just go check down below so you can see that out so you can kind of see like what exactly I put all inside of it because um, there are some really great things and it keeps me in routine and it keeps me going fantastic I'm gonna stop talking about it now okay so I made some copies and I wanted to show you guys what exactly I do with my copies now there are some fantastic systems out there and I'm not gonna tell you that this system is the one for you that it, it is something that you have to do because it's the best system in the whole wide world because you already know that I'm a huge advocate of figure out what right what works for you okay I've tried many 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 of many different things that have just never quite worked out for me so let me show you exactly what it is that works so i have this file cabinet that's next to you and i kind of told showed you guys this whenever i was doing my classroom tour but i have this little file cabinet 
and inside of it I have 31 folders uh, I have been trying to figure out um, I need to get more file folders so I can do one for each month because um, that's gonna be extremely useful for me so I haven't quite done that yet but I am going to do that probably within the next week or so so this is how I have it you have 31 folders folder standing for each day of the month now in some of those months where you don't have 31 days then you just won't use the 31 and you'll just rotate it back but so like tomorrow is the seventh so all of my materials that I have for the seventh are going to be in here now the reason why I want my month ones is um, the reason why I want my month is because, you know, sometimes you just don't know exactly what day you're going to be teaching that, but you know you're going to be teaching it in that month. Well, until you know what day, you can start sticking all of that stuff inside of that month folder, right? It's totally crazy and perfect. So, uh, my hair is driving me crazy. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So, I figure um, that's what I need to do within this next week because I'm already, I have down my plan for the rest of the year and I would like to go ahead and start filing all those things away. So, I might actually run to the store in just a minute and pick up some more file folders so that I can do this. Um, so, as you go through and start putting things in, so like I know that my kids are going to end up doing this in the afternoon tomorrow with my sub. So, I'm going to pull out... And it's already mixed. I have it mixed by accident. Okay, I'm going to pull all those papers out and I'm going to put it in for tomorrow because that's what my kids are going to do tomorrow. The life cycle, this is a super center um, and I am going to go ahead and put it into their super center. So this is one of their super center items. They have to, um, with a partner, put it together and then um, that is what they're going to do. So there's their super center. So just the idea of it is that instead of using, because the, the like the drawer system, because I've seen people with either drawers or buckets and they're labeled like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or they're labeled, you know, with the days, um, not the days, the t subjects that you have in your classroom. That just didn't work out for me because I like to plan ahead and ahead and ahead. And as I was like planning and making copies and getting those ready and I would put them into the drawers, they would get stuck under a bunch of other stuff or I would mix them up and it would drive me nuts. So I stopped doing that. That's just not something that I can do. Now I know that I have this little thing that they're gonna start doing on Wednesday. So we're gonna do that on Wednesday and here so tomorrow's monday that's tuesday here's my wednesday so there it is that i have there's my example and now i'm going to stick all of those items in with that um again it's just something super simple but still extremely useful and i know you guys have heard me talk about this before and i'm sorry if i'm repeating it but david allen is the author of getting things done and it's kind of I don't think he exactly talks about the 42, it's like 42 folders. If you Google it, you'll find it. It's the 42 folder system and so many people use them. A lot of like business gurus use them. A lot of people use them at home to help organize finances. Um, for me, we just do everything online so it just doesn't work for me for that. But I mean, I have one for each month so that I know that as I'm doing certain things, I can put it into that month and then I just file it away. Anyways, starting to ramble even more. Okay, so I am now about to leave. Um, wanted to show you guys what I had set up for tomorrow morning. I have morning duty this week, so I'm not gonna be vlogging much during my morning. But I will during my breaks and of course when I leave, all that good stuff. So I wanted to show this to you really quick. So remember that sheet that I showed you um, on the graphing the weather? Yeah, changed my mind. I'm gonna go home and just probably make my own because um, I really wanted them to do some type of either pictograph or tally marks or just something to represent it in another form. So I'm gonna go home and try to come up with something for them to do that. So um, here is what my chart looks like and my snowy came out awful. <laughs> I probably should have done it with a pencil but I was being really lazy and I was trying to hurry up. Okay, it's okay though, we're fine. Um, so what is your favorite kind of weather? I put sunny, cloudy, snowy, rainy. So my kids are gonna come home, I'm or come home. They're gonna come in and I'm gonna have um, various things for them to build. So if they like snowy, they're gonna build snowy. If they like rainy, they're gonna build that. Um, and then they're gonna glue that on there with their name on it. So I'm gonna go home and just work on that too um, in front of the TV. 